Hi, I'm Diana. I'm the Waymaker product manager here at Lumen. Today, I'm going to be walking through some of the new research-based features that we've added into Waymaker to help students improve their learning. I'm logged into Canvas as a student, but the screens I'm about to show you will be the same regardless of LMS. So any student will have the same experience whether they're in Blackboard, D2L, Moodle, or Canvas. Research into Waymaker usage data has shown us that many students aren't taking advantage of one of Waymaker's most powerful features, the ability to perform targeted reviews based on their first quiz attempt before taking their second. Rather than taking the opportunity to study further and improve their results, many students rush to take their two quiz attempts back to back. We wanted to change this behavior by motivating students to take full advantage of the opportunity that Waymaker provides to perform self-directed mastery-based learning by clearly explaining to students how review could improve their scores and reminding them of the areas where further study was recommended before they took their second attempt. Here, I'm quickly taking the applications of supply and demand quiz as a student so that you can see what our new interface looks like when I come back to my second quiz attempt. When I come back to take my quiz a second time, Waymaker now presents me with a prominent quiz tip message alongside recommended studying, which outlines the sections where further targeted review is required in order to achieve mastery and improve my score. The quiz tip message is based on historical Waymaker data, which shows that students can do at least 10% better with just a small investment in further review. Initial pre-build UX testing that we performed directly with students showed that seeing their previous score in conjunction with the possible percentage improvement was very motivating. We found that students used this information to actively evaluate how much they could improve their score on the second attempt and use that to determine that further review would be worthwhile. The recommended studying section shows students exactly how many questions they got correct for each section. This allows students to be very strategic about how and where to focus their time, ensuring that they spend more time on the sections where they're struggling the most. In addition to gently nudging all students to do better, we also wanted to specifically target the students that we knew were rushing through attempts. Students who rush typically don't take time to read what's on the screen. So, if a student tries to start their next quiz attempt less than five minutes after completing their first, they receive an additional What's the Rush pop-up that actively interrupts the student, encouraging them to take some extra time to review. We know that students sometimes wait till the last minute, taking their attempts very close to the due date. We didn't want to impede or hinder those students, so they can choose to ignore the suggestion and click on the Start Quiz button. Even though students have this option, our testing found that the active interruption was an effective prompt and encouragement to study further. Let's take a look at another quiz where I've already taken two attempts. As you can see, after students have taken their second attempt, the quiz tip and feedback screen remains, but the recommended studying is updated to be based on their second quiz attempt. This is designed to provide encouragement and review before exams, or in the case where a faculty member grants an additional attempt, to provide direction before that third attempt. If a third attempt had been granted, the Start Quiz button would be displayed. Next, let's look at the new designs that we rolled out to improve the way we provide feedback to students. In addition to improving the layout of feedback and the embedded practice activities inside content, we also rolled out interactive feedback in self-checks. In selected courses, students will now get immediate response-specific feedback on their self-check question. This provides a powerful opportunity for students to correct understandings before moving on and they will be able to go back and study the material they just covered should they feel they need to. Even in courses where the response-specific text-based feedback is not available, students will still immediately see whether they were correct or incorrect on the question. In addition, as a faculty member, you now have the opportunity to edit that feedback and provide feedback on questions where your students are struggling. That's all we're going to be covering today, but if you have any questions about any of the features you've seen here, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us on support at lumenlearning.com and the team will get back to you. Thank you for your time.